Even firefighters are testing out a helicopter this week to see if it could help them save lives and money. It won't be used to put out fires, but could speed up response times to car crashes and river rescues. But unions are worried that jobs may have to be lost to pay for the helicopter. Scott Ellis reports. For the first time, Avon firefighters are airborne. The helicopter can carry five with half a tonne of rescue kit, and it's quick. We're talking um, from anywhere in the county, at a central position, about 11 minutes, whereas a road crew is 20 minutes. This is a practice rescue at a weir at Bathampton, backed up by crews who arrive by road. It's part of a week-long trial using the helicopter, and arriving by air isn't just quick, it can help the rescuers. As we flew into the incident, we did have a slight advantage in that we could oversee the whole incident and we could see the casualty on the weir before I actually landed, so I could start preparing a plan. Rescues like this are now a large part of a firefighter's job, hence the helicopter trial. While the Avon Fire Service deals with 4,000 fires a year, it's also called out to 2,500 rescues. The brigade says the helicopter wouldn't replace fire engines, but four rescue tenders would have to go. We need 48 people to crew the road-based vehicles. Um, through natural wastage, most of those posts have been lost anyway. Um, in time, through natural wastage, that, that, those number of posts, the resources that free up, could potentially pay for the operation of the aircraft. As yet, no UK fire service uses a helicopter, but modern, lightweight rescue kit means arriving by air is more feasible than 10 years ago. Avon Fire and Rescue Service faces cuts of £15 million over the next four years. A helicopter hardly seems like an austerity measure. But if this week proves that the helicopter can save lives and money, it could become permanent. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West.